You're listening to JW Raw with Eminem. We are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you still tuning in after our episode 30, uh, what is this, 36? 36. We're moving right along. <laughs> so, for episode 36, we have uh, our Invicta. Soon to be champion. Soon right. to be champion. Right. Katharina Lehner. Exactly. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Did yeah. I say that right, Katharina? Yes. All right, cool. Katya. Katya in Russia, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, so you came to Jackson Wink first time uh, this year, right? Yes. Uh, what do you think so far? I think it was the best choice I did. Um, everything went fine. The training is really good. I could train three, four times a day. Um, I had so many teammates here, so many girls. Um, yeah, and the nutrition coach Anita, who helped me a lot. So everything complete is complete package. Yes, yeah, for the yes. good. Good to hear. So the nutritionist, uh, Dr. Anita, we we uh, we, love, we love her, her uh, obviously yeah. because she's. Uh, part of the family and uh, her record speaks for itself mm. I mean, we were talking you were saying something about yesterday right that you actually eating more yeah and you have yeah, all that energy yeah. and you're dropping weight yeah normally i do it on myself and i'm starving yeah, that's, two that's or three weeks before the fight the worst the worst time ever yeah most miserable time yeah <laughs> and now i'm one week before the weigh-in and i at eat seven times a day so small portion but seven times a day i'm not hungry at all i can train three times a day now and it's yeah. fascinating it's, it's fascinating, it's, it's and fascinating. the weight is dropping down 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 it's, it's crazy, crazy wow. how she yeah. figured it out right it's a yeah. science that that uh, yeah she's uh it's Just top secret shit i guess yeah. but uh, it's cool and uh, on top of that we're coming out uh they coming out actually with a line of uh, their protein you know very clean yeah. very clean like 30 grams of protein per serving it's, it's going pretty good yeah so, so it's it's gonna I think we're going it's gonna taking take it to the next level yeah 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 i'm really happy to have her because but i'm <laughs> always very <laughs> about yeah, yeah. It's, it's so her and her and uh miss winkle john yes exactly. uh, they work together the, miss winkle john kind of studies the science behind foods and stuff uh did you have to do any of that food testing stuff or anything or you kind of already knew what, what's good for you and, and and you should stay away from no i can eat everything you can eat everything <laughs> well that's what she thinks she thinks she can eat everything yeah yeah, yeah there's, this, there's this funky test that uh, there's yeah. another test yeah. that yeah. they do that actually yeah. the food sensitivity because yeah. it's yeah. not it's not it's not allergies actually it just tells you like what affects your immune system in different ways yeah you know? and uh and uh it's pretty pretty helpful there are foods yeah. that uh people's bodies react to that you don't realize it's 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 uh it's causing these issues with you and, mm. and uh, like with uh like misha for example he wasn't allowed to eat uh you know lamb so mm -hmm. he cut it out for a little while and it and it, and it uh it made a difference you know yeah. uh everyone around here has certain foods like garlic it's like oh jeez it must oh, be you think garlic, garlic is healthy but then, then it's yeah. actually really i eat no, 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 every, every day it's, it's not everybody it's, yeah, it's not everybody like, you think all. oh garlic is healthy well maybe yes it is but maybe not for you yeah. okay. you know what i'm saying so yeah everybody everybody's different yeah you know, no, that's no, true no single body is the same yeah you know, but anyway hey uh so you from germany nuremberg right so you're yes. born very close to nuremberg yes that's pretty cool man in bavaria and, and <laughs> as as you know we spoke i lived there yeah. for a while for like five months my dad um i love nuremberg man no, yeah, i love it a really really beautiful city where do you train over there how did you how did you uh, i mean because in germany mma is somewhat new right like i mean i mean yes. considering like the global scale is not like mm. huge mainstream thing yeah there. it's not so popular we have now in every big city an mma gym but um when i lived in bavaria i wasn't able to train mma i only did a little bit of boxing then after studying i moved to cologne and um, there i found out the mma gym combat club cologne and it was the only one there now we have two or three more but i'm still there yeah. okay okay so but you still feel like training partners of a high level you have to go stateside right yeah you have to go america yeah. we have a few but we have no girls in yeah, germany that's what i was going to ask so, the, so yeah. the female population hasn't yeah. really picked up on mma yeah, like the united states and brazil some yeah. of the other countries it's yeah. just more of a manly but uh, even though so far you pretty much pretty impressive with your record what do you what do you right now undefeated right i believe 
What's your record? Seven and zero. Oh. Seven and zero. Oh. Yeah. And you picked up a couple of titles along the way too. In some Two, of yeah. It's pretty impressive considering that. Thank you. You don't have that type of. And now, movement. and now, Kansas City, Kansas City for the, for the title against uh, Sarah Coffin. Yeah. Right. Probably the toughest test. Oh yes. How cool oh, is yes. that? She's very experienced. Yeah. She's a good woman too, man. Yeah. She's a train with us. It's just unfortunately, you know, sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's one of those deals where yeah, it's it's just, just, you yeah. know, when, when you international camp like this, you know, you're bound to to compete against people that are from the same circles mm. this and that. It's normal. Do you know her? Have you met her? Are you running no, into her? No, so no, this no, will be your first, the yeah. first yeah. So you don't know on a personal level or anything. So that Nothing. Maybe it's in better. That's kind of better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, sweet. So sweet. Bavaria, Bavaria, I guess, is a suburb. Is that is that what you said? Or how, how is that? Bavaria is uh, like New Mexico. Yeah. So... Oh, what's so it's the state province? It's like it's, province, 500, yeah. it's, a, it's about five hundred thousand people population. I mean, not Bavaria, but Nuremberg. Yeah. Nuremberg, Nuremberg, yeah. Nuremberg so is take it's actually equivalent to Albuquerque. Okay, like you have that old town here. Yeah, even though it's way, way, way better in in, in, in Germany. When <laughs> yeah, you go yeah. to old oh, town, yeah. it's like it's it's like this castles and stuff like surrounded yeah. by this. So there's like an old city, and and that's where like the historic place, you know, which is like packed with people oh believe me that's on my list and, and then and then and then outside of it is just like normal place where people live and stuff yeah. like that i want to go there the, and then uh, green the architecture gr green light yeah. green light district right <laughs> green light or red light, yeah. red light, <laughs> Any light. Whichever, whatever light, Any light. <laughs> red is busy green go <laughs> just don't don't forget to check health certificates <laughs> they, have, they have them on the walls bro serious that's awesome uh, women is not allowed to walk on there bro <laughs> That's funny. So you're making uh, so the the struggles of a fighter. What uh, was it expensive to uh, obviously pack up and come to come here? And you're living here. Are you living at the dorms? Or are you? Staying? I'm living at the dorms exactly. Yes, because um, I mean I have an apartment in Germany. I have to pay my bills there while I'm here. Mm -hmm. So it uh, was not so easy. Um, and everyone knows we don't earn a lot of money in the small organizations. Yeah. Um, so my manager Tim and me um, did a GoFundMe page for me. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. I gotta kid you about something I saw on that, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I I got the money I needed for, and now Good. I'm fine. Yeah. Good. So and you're I'm really, the, really happy. So and you raised, you did raise the funds. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, love you so, so we, uh, me and the producer Nick, were were looking at it uh, a couple weeks ago, I think, and. We noticed uh, you. One of the uh, things for sale was your uh, fight shorts. After uh, after the after fight the after fight shorts. <laughs> they were when I'm on the way. That, that, was, that, that was like one of the most expensive. Uh, that was one of the most expensive oh, items. So you were auctioning things. <laughs> You're right? auctioning uh, off your underwear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is there is there a uh, some kind of a uh, like a like a people that want that stuff? Is it, no, you... unfortunately not, because I think it was five thousand. Oh wow! I can't. I can't remember. Four right. or five thousand. That's awesome. Um. Yeah. Well, you never hey, know. hold out. Well, you never know. yeah, hold out too. Once you be, make big leagues and yeah, you know, yeah once you beat that, would, that, that will that will sell. Yeah. That will yeah. sell. <laughs> maybe, maybe add another couple couple thousand for premium. Yeah. No, it's not the first time. I'm sure yeah, people people, have people done do that. that all that's, time. that's pretty cool. You you see sells it even they sell. They sell. They say in the contract when uh, when you sign for the closing, or whatever on the bottom it says that, or somewhere in the contract it says that after you're done, um, you know you, you you have a choice of which piece of, piece of gear to give back to UFC. It could be gloves, fight shirts, t-shirt, whatever. Or your underwear. So, well, underwear. Yeah, well, I'm saying it. yeah. You you have a choice to because mm. once you fill out the list of all the things that you want. Because they do, they do have the yeah, UFC then, underwear. Actually, I know that because yeah, they uh, the, the, then they sell that stuff. Actually, for, for socks, time. everything has to be Reebok. So yeah, everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you're wearing underwear, uh, so Tommy you, Hilfiger your underwear, they make you take now it I off. Now can wear so Victoria's. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you step. Well, you're, you're not UFC. Yeah, you're, you're Victor. You, you can go rogue and wear whatever the hell you're you want. You step ahead. So <laughs> you can actually have the uh, the banners too, right? Still in Invicta. Yes. So you can have yes. all your sponsors. Yeah, that's so cool. So how'd you like working with Wink? I know. I know he been working with you like every day right yes yeah, uh, yeah. every day literally yeah, good connection yeah and so he's a really really nice person i like yeah, him really much um we did pets every day from monday till friday and it helped me a lot really yeah yeah yeah, he said you needed some extra <laughs> yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah he asked me if i come back and i, and I said 
of course. Yeah. I will be back. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good news. Because in, in Wink Eyes, you know, it's always, you know, because he's passionate about working with people, you know, so it's like one of those things that, you know, a lot of people think that they'll come for just one camp and whatever and disappear. But if you really want to build this strong, lasting relationship yeah. and get somewhere, you know, like Holly, for example, she's been with him for 16 years, yeah. and ups and downs, it doesn't matter. You just got to find the right people that work for you and continue working with them because a lot of people, like, jump around, you know, mm. and it's kind of... You know, maybe that's that's okay for them, but you know, no. whatever. I think I found a second home here. Yeah, good. Yeah. A lot of people do here, man. Yeah. So. No German food though. Well, <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 well, it's it's Russian food, German food. <laughs> potatoes <laughs> stove. Potatoes <laughs> stove. <laughs> you have, you have all the necessities. <laughs> the sausage you can find. Yeah, this is. Uh, this There's is an but, Alpine uh, store somewhere. There actually Korea. is over yeah. there on uh, I think Indian School and uh, mm. like just below Carlisle. There's a, like a little uh, little German store. But yeah, okay. they sold a a cream a baby cream that was like outlawed here, but they somehow got it here and our our we used it on our kids. It was so we love the German connection here. Yes, yeah, yeah. so right behind there's a Whole Foods. There's a Whole Foods there, and right behind the Whole Foods, it's kind of like it's on a side street that really no okay. one knows about. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to sh show it to you. Maybe you can go find some. Now, now at the end of your camp, go figure. Yeah. You can't eat anything anyway. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> have you been anywhere else outside of uh, Albuquerque? First time I mean, in America, right? First time. No, oh, my uh, oh, you last. Did you did fight. Yeah, before, exactly. Yeah. The last Invicta fight was in um, Limor in California. Yeah. Um, so I was in California, Los Angeles, San Bernardino. Then I went to Phoenix, to Flagstaff, Las Vegas, oh, and then okay. back so to the oh, West Coast. Yes. Hot. But it was really hot. Um, when I fight on this day, it was 110. Yeah, sounds about right. That's Arizona. Uh, yeah, dry, dry heat, though. It's yeah. better. Yeah. Be better than e East Coast. Wait till you ever end up on East Coast Humidity. during summer. You'll hate that. Mm. Like if uh, this heat is better for it's me probably how Germany is, though. I mean, it's, I it's probably humid out there. It's In really Germany, it's not got hot. a lot of water. <laughs> it doesn't get as hot. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I tell you, I have such a good memory with Germany. Like, if it wasn't for America, it was like, if if I had to choose uh, to live anywhere on this world, if it wasn't for this, like, let's say if America didn't exist, it would be Germany. Serious, uh -huh. bro. Serious about it. I think I think it's one of the most wonderful and hardworking people. Just look at the culture, right? Let's say go back to World War Two. You know what I'm saying? And I always bring it up. Mm -hmm. And the country was destroyed. Well, the right? engineers are fascinating. And, look and, look and, what and, built. and w they became one of the biggest super economic superpowers in a, such yeah. a short term. Like when I remember I was there, my father was working, like we'll get up, like he would start working at six o'clock in the morning and stuff like that, you know? And people were up and working and doing things and, yeah. and moving along. And then at night, like everything was shut down. People just have fun. Yeah. And there was like, they, they have like the rules where like after six or something, right? No one's allowed to be open except you know that, right? Just like no Sunday, one, no, everything is Sunday's closed. closed. Wow. You're not yeah. allowed That's to be cool. open. Only clubs and like small places where bars, right? Yeah. Like Restaurants are open on Sundays. Yeah. Don't take your beer so from them. Like factories and stuff like yeah. that. And you can drink beer. The fact like you yeah. can, you can, you can, you can, you can, <laughs> you can it's for not lunch, yeah, 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 for lunch. You can literally <laughs> pop a bottle That's, that's bottle a good little morale booster. Yeah. I like that. Man. And beer everywhere, bro. You can buy beer everywhere 24 7, bro. Any kind, bro. I was in heaven, man. I was young. Road trip. Road trip. And beer. Beer over there isn't a little twelve ounce. It's we, like a, it's we, like a yeah. we should do a Euro trip one day. Literally start with Germany because you get Let me like not leave. you get Schengen States visa, right? Mm. You know when you get visa, you get Schengen States. So you can go to like fifteen countries. Like we'll be in Germany today. We'll catch a bus ten hours later. We're in yeah. France. Take a bullet train yeah. or something. I, w like. I went to France. I was like castle hopping and like from mm. castle to castle, castle to castle, and like Eiffel Tower. It's the craziest time. You've been a lot, a lot of places around? Or in Europe, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like Nearly it's in every not, big it's city. It's hard not to, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, f the flights are so cheap, m meanwhile, and it takes one or two hours in to everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. London, it's Paris, Well, it's kind of like Barcelona. the East Coast. It's, it's, that's the difference between the East Coast and West Coast. It takes, it takes eight hours to get to uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. And uh, wh you can go from New York to Maine in, in a couple hours of just driving, you know, it's just, and it's just it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. The but first um, time when I was here, I looked at the map and I had a car and I said, OK, I want to go here, 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 here. 
and everyone was telling me you cannot go there with car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the most you can, I'm but I'm going to the beach. Yeah, it takes too long. It long, takes a long, long, long yeah. drive. America's yeah. pretty big. Yeah, the West Coast, the states are much bigger. They don't even mess with them. Texas. Forget about it. it next a couple ne days. Next time here. when you come back, if you can come back earlier or something, or stay after the fight, whatever. Go to. Uh, have you been to uh, um, which one? In Arizona to uh, Grand Canyon. Yes. You have yes. been already. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool how cool is that place it was really cool it's yeah. like something out of this world it's like yeah. a day like you're on a different planet it's yeah. like opens up a perspective yeah. what, what what the earth like you look yeah. at it and it's just it's jesus true. christ what is this we yeah. may not have that cool architecture from germany but we got some cool ditches mm. and, and uh Ditch. there's, <laughs> a <lot laughs> <of rivers. laughs> there's a lot of cool architecture too but just germany is just uh, so 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 old and like it's yeah. been around forever and there's a lot of cool places but Nuremberg is known for like a lot of like that uh, Nuremberg process, the German like yeah. you know, they persecuted all the yeah. in the court. I lived right by that, like Karl Burger oh, it, it wasn't yeah. too yeah. it wasn't too far. All the Nazis. And the, yeah, and, yeah. They ha and they have that that like uh, um, the basement right where they were like yeah, held yeah. the prisoners and, and stuff. Yeah, and they have the um, uh, rice potatoes calendar there. The, the big is, place. The Pollocks. What's it? It's uh, called a Rice Partei It's yeah. where Hitler was the whole time, and the oh. crowd was in front of him. Oh, oh it yeah. still stands. Yeah. So it's still yeah, there. Yeah, it's, this, oh, really? it's still there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Man, the country rebounded from something insane. That's because well, the whole world rebounded, but that's because mm. they have BMW, Mercedes, uh, Audi. Drinking at six a.m. <laughs> yeah. They have the the best cars in the in the planet yeah. Earth, man. Seriously, the best cars. You can start drinking at ten. It's normal. No one would say, "What are you doing?" Yeah. So you can have beer for breakfast in Bavaria. Yeah, yeah. I think if it was. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I noticed they sell <laughs> they sell they sell syringes for like drug addicts. Right on that, they have like machines. So you go Deutschmark. Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, there'd be dead people at the bottom of those. They sold those here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's true, though. That's right? horrible. So, but and you you can also start drinking younger at a younger age too, right? With you don't 16. have to be what six. Yeah, that's crazy. You can buy beer when you're 16. Yeah. That's that's it's fascinating. Allowed. 16 years old, yeah. you know, buying it, ordering a pint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy nightlife over there, man. I remember going clubbing and stuff, like a bunch of girls and stuff back yeah. then. Man. And you go to the clubs and everything at 16? I don't remember. 16, you're man. allowed to stay till 12 when you're 16. <laughs> they kick you in. And, <laughs> and then, yeah. Okay, it's adult go. time after midnight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. kids. And our clubs are open till 6, 7 a.m. Oh, jeez. Sometimes yeah. there are clubs they have open till 12 a.m. It yeah. will ruin so you, it will yeah. ruin your sleep cycle for <laughs> one weekend one yeah. weekend <laughs> one weekend weekend out you like, all, the, all the clubs the rocking the Rammstein. <laughs> Rammstein. <laughs> He's, that's a badass group. Yeah. I, I used to it listen is. to that. That's a walkout song, is it right? Yeah. yeah. Which one? Firefly. Du hast nichts. That's the one I always remember. I try Polizei Dreifier. All I know is the Chlibidik. I was telling everyone, hey, I love you. I love you. A Chlibidik. There's a lot of Russians in Germany, yes. in Nuremberg too, a lot, yeah. like a lot. It's a rough, it's a rough language, the German, it sounds so like gruff. So, yeah. Like when Sebastian comes, uh, it's, it's all, he's, yeah. Well, well, yeah, you, you know Sebastian Hale? I don't know. But you him. heard of him? Yeah, I heard yeah. of him. He's, yeah. he's one of our favorite Germans. Love yeah. Sebastian. Yeah. I think he comes this, back this year. I hope so, yeah. 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 Harry told him something, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys, uh, you guys, uh, two, two Germans that we have. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's uh, it's funny because we we would play poker with uh, with him and uh, Alistair, and you get all these accents together, and mm. and, and, and his is uh, his is always the the gruffest, you know. It's just yeah. Alistair should be coming next week with his crew and Bryn and Sergey Haritonov. I just texted him. I'm the day, so the day you're leaving Monday, Monday, Alistair shows up oh, with the crew. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna miss miss out. But yeah, he's 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 actually a joy to be around. I'm actually looking forward to if he brings Sergey, man. It'd be crazy <laughs> for me, man. <laughs> That's one of your. Sergey. Sergey Hariton, he's a legend. Yeah. Mm. Pride days, it'd be cool to meet him. Misha's, he, Misha's still a fan when it comes down to it. He, he, no, to old school, I'm not a fan. Of, uh, 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 old school guys, I am, because I grew up watching them. Mm. So, you know. But if they come to Jack, Jackson Wink, we immediately adopt them. You know, it's, it's cool like that. Where Alistair's going to bring them and yeah. be part of the team. Nice. So. Yeah. We welcome. We like to. Uh, we like to uh, uh, adopt people from all over the world like that. Have you been to Russia? No. 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 Not yet. 
Did you sign our award downstairs? Did you did you put your name on the uh, on the, the wall? Pin? No, no, downstairs the, the on, on my desk the. No. Oh, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we gotta get your name. Did you so sign the walls in there though too? After this, we'll we'll, okay. we'll do like all yeah. the Yeah, we haven't sign. done all the cool stuff with her yet. Yeah, <laughs> getting busy. <laughs> that, that, you're, not, you're not official until you sign the wall. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> and the, we will do it. Now. Oh, that's awesome. So Sarah Kaufman, what do you know about her? What uh, what is she? A striker, a grappler? What what uh, what have you heard? What do you know? I think she's um, very well rounded. So her striking is good. Um, she. Mm, jiu jitsu black belt i know mm, yeah um but i think uh, she's more a striker in all her fights she wants to stand with the girls so yeah in your background what would you uh, consider yourself more of i was more striker yeah. striker yeah. definitely yeah. a striker i love striking you just want to you just want to sit there and bang just, just stand up and let's do this yeah you know, exactly. heck with this ground stuff <laughs> yeah exactly huh. isn't kaufman somewhat of a german name Normal, normally yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kaufman. Kaufman. I, there are a lot of people who um, so her, her, her last, uh, his last name is Kaufman. Her, her, her higher heritage is probably German, so they're like German and German, German crime. Maybe. German, German maybe. and German crime. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah, Kaufman is very like German. Yeah, yeah. True. Hmm. Just thought about it actually. Yeah. Right. It's maybe. German. Yeah. Maybe. They just oh. the, her 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 family just uh, immigrated over here. Yeah. Her yeah, her, coffee, uh, coffee. her her roots are still embedded deep into the <laughs> into the German people. So who who are the coaches? Uh, uh, well, Wink is going with you, right? No, no, he no, can't go. No. He can't go. Um, we talked to each other, and um, I said I'm a r little bit worried about it because we only worked for five weeks, four yeah. weeks together, and I'm not sure if I notice him when he coaches me in English. Oh. Ah. So I've never been coached in English okay. and um, Maybe German coaches come. this is why my German oh. coaches come but uh, for the next time I'll try to come 10 or 8 weeks yeah, at least 8 so weeks so yeah so so with the codes and stuff like that I guess he wasn't teaching you the codes then no, it wouldn't do you any yet. good because you're yeah, yeah. interesting yeah okay. right. so you're just going to be going by muscle memory just trying to that's going to be very interesting yeah Okay. I mean, who, are the, who, are the, who are the other coaches you work here with? I worked a lot with Harry. Jiu we, yeah, exactly. Um, it's good jujitsu. Nearly every day for thirty minutes, uh, we drilled. Um, I worked with Joey too. Yeah. Think your ground game is better now? Yeah. 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 Good. So your uh, the, the so your corners. How, how many can you have with Invicta? How's that work? Three. So it's championship so you can have three. 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 Okay. Yeah. Championship. Plus translator. Well, championship you can have four yeah. with. UFC. Yeah, we we no. we thought no, it's it's four. Three. I thought it's four. No, it's four. four with UFC. Yeah, with UFC is four, four, but yeah. um, Invicta is three. But when it would be four, I would take Winkle John with me. Yeah, that's why. Uh, yeah. Like John, John always has Easy, Greg, Wink, and uh, yeah. Tusa. Because uh, they, they or Brandon and John Brandon almost whatever it's yeah, anyway, they not, go for, it's three, for titles it's three. yeah so the, so the all german coaches then yes. you have okay yes so there'll be about a nine, nine, <laughs> nine, oh, oh. <laughs> i love listening corners it's fascinating there'll be a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of germans screaming like such an angry she, language she, they would they would throw her off man hopefully she don't speak german because they'd be like <laughs> <laughs> are they like uh what did they say <laughs> trying to kill me here or what yeah. <laughs> yeah. so how does uh german culture right now like i'm always fascinated by especially by the history of uh, germany you know especially world war ii you know how it played out and stuff and and uh where it is now so how do germans look at that history of that period of time um I think for the most, it's not easy to have a culture like this yeah. because all the world is uh, all the Germans are Nazis. Uh, you yeah. killed so many Jews, and yeah, um, kind of a, yeah. it's not Stigma. so easy. Hard, and no one talks about yeah, it in it's Germany. It's hard thing to live with. Yeah, yeah, carrying mm -hmm. that. I mean. Yeah, no one talks about it in Germany. Well, what about what about school? I mean, how how does that work in school? Do they do they at least teach like it in school? History. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so you're so learning. you know about the so yeah, still yeah everyone knows about it yeah. but then after that you just no one talks you're, about it yeah once, it's better not to talk about it because yeah, yeah. it was such a yeah because yeah. you just don't want to say something wrong 
Exactly. Yeah, yeah you never know who you're going to offend. They yeah. said only 10% here know about the Holocaust. Yes, yeah, I think American schools aren't even really yeah, they don't teach talking it. about it anymore. Okay. So, so it's like a, it's horrible. It's, it's I mean, it's history. It's I a mean, horrible yeah. thing to happen. Yeah. But I mean, you have history to is very people. subjective these days, man. Because it's like each country writes their own history, history of how yeah. they want to freaking teach their kids, yeah. man. So <laughs> yeah, we have this argument all the time because <laughs> it's true. He, he tells me that the the Russians won the wars, you know, and, and it's, no, America won the wars. How it's, the fuck did <laughs> 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 the fuck? Where the fuck did well, they come from? But like? see, that's what they teach you in school in America. There's not, schools, there's, not, America. There, there's not there's nothing to teach. You got twenty million people died, hundred thousand people died. Yeah, see, and then I, if the war was, if the war was in Russia, it wasn't even in America. Twenty America. people, twenty million people died. That sounds like a loss to me. <laughs> it sounds like a loss to you. That's okay, well, that what sounds like you? a lot of people died. Uh, exactly. Well, did you? Well, did you? Do? No, no, I'm yeah, just, I'm just saying. Up. I'm just saying, the, the way <laughs> Americans the way Americans teach it, and the way Germans teach it, and the way there's uh, nothing the Russians else to teach, teach it. There's, 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 America did not have war on their soil. The war was not here. Yeah, that's true. You know, you joined the war in 1944. When the war was almost over. <laughs> that's fucking true. Even the, the Americans know that. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's true. The most clueless people sometimes. <laughs> the most clueless. Yeah, the yes. American school system is, uh, yeah, they're a little prejudiced, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no punch he, him gets, in the face. he gets so hurt. <laughs> Go USA. I don't know. He's he's not he's not American. He, he he likes to claim he's American, but he's when it's all said and done, he's, he's the very, hardest he, Russian. He, yes, and a little bit German. No, <laughs> I'm an American, but I'm for a fucking truth, man. Like I mean, it's if it's the truth, is truth. It's like there's nothing nothing to talk about. It's just logic, just logic. There's nothing to even debate about. It's logic. All you follow is logic. <laughs> That's it. Right? Yeah. Exactly. He's getting stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> so, calm down, calm down. Autobahn. <laughs> I hear you could drive fast on the autobahn. Oh, that's another thing I yeah. love fascinating about Germany. Autobahns. Autobahns, yeah. Yeah, that's why they have all those cool cars. Like well, the yeah, the Porsches the, and shit. The auto <laughs> so a buddy of mine, he, uh, he posted a video on, uh, he was in Germany like two weeks ago. And he posted a video of him. He rented a Porsche for the day or something. And he was on the Autobahn just flying, just passing everybody. And uh, somebody somebody from Germany makes a comment. It says, hey, uh, by the way, by the way, if you drive like that and you're caught by the cops, not only are they going to take your car, you're going to get a you're going to get a fine from hell because apparently you're not supposed to pass on the right. Mm. And of course, he doesn't know that because in America, you do whatever the hell you want. You, <laughs> you freaking drive like a madman, but they're they're very serious. The German yeah, cops yeah. are very serious yeah. about the way you drive. So he just <laughs> so he's posting this video of him driving like a madman, just weaving through traffic, okay. and it's very specific. You cannot pass on the no, right. No, only on the left. And see, I didn't know that. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's it's the same thing here, but uh, it, it, it's no it, one cares about yeah. it. So yeah. But yeah, in Germany, it's like a very big deal. Yeah. yeah. So Some if there's the someone in front of you that's not getting out of the way, you just gotta keep flashing yeah. them lights or hope they eventually leave. But but yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> So I thought that was kind of funny. I think some of the best roads in Germany because, like, you know, to drive fast like that, autobahns and all the roads and stuff, they're mm. top notch. I remember, like, uh, uh, I was uh, <clears throat> in Germany, right? Like, and I saw, like, if, let's say if they have a crack in the road, right? The technology that they have is insane. I remember, like, some kind of machine comes in, like, evenly, like, takes cuts, the whole piece out, out and puts a new one out, in it. <laughs> like, you know, this, not even, not even a seam, like, like, it's like, it's like, done like it's integrated right into whatever technology they use remember my father German, came German engineering yeah my father yeah. lived there for a while and he came here and we were in New York and we passed him by the construction zone you got the guy that <laughs> 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 he almost like yeah, that's a union <laughs> guy though he needed that job <laughs> he's paid a lot of money to just stand there with that thing <laughs> he laughed so hard man you don't see that shit over there right in Germany there's a machine that just cuts it out <laughs> with a bunch of guys that are just in the middle of New York City, oh, man. Yeah, like, this, man, this uh, is there's a strategy to that. Yeah. It's, it's called union work. Uh, Those guys, <laughs> and, and, and if they if they invent a machine that can do that here, if they bring that machine from Germany, uh, all hell will break loose, man. Dude, like, <laughs> a lot of people are going to lose like, their jobs. A lot of European countries, you know that, right? 
they look at some things that they like hear and they mm. laugh at it. Like they, they just doesn't do. They don't comprehend it. Yeah. Like, oh, well, look, look. Uh, you live. Of course, you live uh, up up in the Heights, and and you come down. A, you come down Academy, and you get on the freeway. Yeah. How long has the freeway been under construction? Oh my God, it's insane. Bro. I know it's a pain in the it's ass. It's insane. Like <laughs> it's been it's been a year. Yeah, like okay. in New Jersey, the same thing. When I lived in New Jersey, like they this every road is always under construction for years <laughs> it's like yeah like i remember i moved in five years later the same thing man <laughs> five years later it's still cones and <laughs> and, and lights and and yeah. the same sign sometimes they'll like leave the sign that says under construction and it says there and they haven't had it, and there's no construction but the sign is there hey like because they're speed, preparing like, for the next time already <laughs> yeah, for like, crazy. it's crazy here like, and in road. germany it's more f it's so fast and the people don't work on sunday yeah wow and a lot of people don't work on saturday they'll come well. in they'll patch it down make it nice <laughs> boom, boom, boom. here you'll have like a, ca a truck driving with that uh, thing with guy with a shovel puts in the hole in, in new yeah. jersey that's how it was in new jersey yeah, like a shovel oh, yeah, like you. potholes yeah, you know like those like yeah. from winter time because they're like cars you yeah. know you put, put, put potholes with a shovel we <laughs> and that's that guy's specific job that's, that's his sole job uh, and if he calls in sick that day no one else can do it yeah and then the the whole project is delayed and you need to qualify yeah, well, yeah you gotta get certified <laughs> you gotta go for training you, you gotta get certified with that shovel you just have to use a shovel you gotta take like hours and hours yeah. of training you gotta have your orange vest you yeah. gotta have your hard helmet it's, yeah. it's like a big deal you gotta yeah. certify the vest certify the helmet that's why it's so damn expensive man and, and uh shit never gets done so germany yeah man, they're they're ahead of us i'm not gonna argue with that beautiful culture over there man seriously the school so is here man just a different yeah it's a different and different I'm, dimensions i'm fascinated by that too with schools too you you have to learn a second language in other countries pretty much or you so you know you were born with german obviously yeah but you learn um you have to learn english in every school wow um and then it depends on the school you have or you can choose between french and um latin why english latin, latin who won, who won yeah. the war huh is it is it because we won the war <laughs> because <laughs> it's easiest language to learn uh, no, it's this actually number eight. russian is really well, and this is not the only difficult. country that speaks english they actually learn proper english from britain well there's the How queen's english that? is yeah different yeah. Yeah. right yeah you learn actual proper yeah. english none of that yeah yo 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 that's urban urban uh, <laughs> english no one speaks that yeah that's, that's just rappers no speak yeah and then yeah you learn a second one and maybe if you want a third one so many languages you speak um i've learned uh, french wow for five years about yeah holy cow yeah Which but one? now i only can understand but speaking is yeah we need tom we need tom to come back and quiz you a little bit Who, who's our other french guy GT? yeah GT. GT. yeah he, he hasn't been here this year camp has he no mm. gt no. he's in california yeah but i think here it's good when you speak uh, for spanish yeah, yeah spanish here yeah. well they yeah. still you still have second language here but the most one well language. it's it, but it's not taught it's it's not taught anywhere you're either born with it or you have to you have to take it as an elective in school it's mm. not something that they say you will learn spanish in russia it was funny because like when you're in school when i was young you only have two choices of language to learn okay russian and german none that's it no other languages okay. like in high school and based on your grades it's like you don't even have like you don't even have actually choice it's like if you're in a if you are an outstanding student like with good grades mm -hmm. you automatically direct it to english group okay if you like if you suck like in school you direct it to german, german. language i don't know why it was it was like <laughs> how 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 that that's straight wow. up like in our system how it was when i was yeah. growing up so and and, and but my mom <laughs> all dumb her, people language and my, my mom all her life learned english she would yeah. finish university and english degree and this and that and and then and then and i was a shitty student so and they sent me to <laughs> study german. german and my mom was so pissed off because she wanted to help me with it she wanted yeah, you yeah. know so then she actually went to school and like argued with them and whatever and so they put me in english okay. <laughs> but now it's better for you yeah. <laughs> but it's just funny how some yeah. cultures are like well, certain things you don't know but as an elective uh, as an elective they they give you choices and, and i taught uh or they in they, russia no choices you do this yeah. okay i should have took spanish but uh, but i took german so i learned how to count to 10 in german and it's about all i remember how to do but <laughs> but german is difficult to learn oh, it, was. it is very yeah. difficult any language is difficult i mean not, I, I not english bro i i i was thrown in uh, i was thrown here in the english environment like i lived in wisconsin and like uh, there's no one speak russian like i literally 
started speaking English in like three months just by watching TV, like yeah. WWE wow. and stuff. It's like I literally one of the most. I mean, I don't know other languages as much, but like even if you look into it and start like you know German or things like that, we have words are like this long and shit, mm-hmm. like fucking fifty letters. <laughs> and our phrases are yeah, just like, like yeah. yeah, it's it it, it becomes yeah. it becomes uh, kind of understandable but why but why English is one of the most popular languages. Yeah. But at least you're it. reading left to right, like, like yeah, the, that's not true. like the Japanese yeah. or the Chinese or yeah. up, upside down, backwards, sideways. I, I don't know, very uh, <laughs> very interesting. So where do you live now in Germany, Cologne, right? Cologne, yeah. Okay. And Cologne is a suburb of, or is that a state, or what? What is Cologne? It's uh, one of the biggest cities in uh, Germany. Okay. There's one million live there. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. And what are they famous for? The cathedral. Say it again. Cath- Cath- cathedral. Cathedral. Yeah. Oh. Cathedral. Cathedral. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's a really, really a big beautiful one. cathedral God, in Germany. Cathedrals it is in every, in every city. There. It's fascinating. In Nuremberg, remember an old city? There's one beautiful one, like yeah. by the market. You know what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. I told you one of my best friends is German, you know, Jens Burnham, his name is. And the funny part is that when I started, I started in the Navy here in America, right? Mm-hmm. So when I ended up in the Navy, the best friend, my best friend became actually a, a German guy also who like came here and stuff. I joined the military and it was funny because like Russian and German, American Navy, and we like mm. became best friends. It's just the yeah. weird, weirdest thing ever. Hey, so why why did uh, why did David Hasselhoff get so big in Germany? What's that all about? David <laughs> Hasselhoff. <laughs> why is he such a legend over there? <laughs> because um, Germany was split to um, DDR and um, yeah, the the East the German. DDR, yeah. And then when the wall fell down, he was there. Ah. Okay. And every one of she us watched Baywatch, yeah. for example. Baywatch. Yeah. Him and Bay- and Night Baywatch. <laughs> Night Rider and Baywatch. Went, went through the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people just turn into legends. <laughs> and so Hasselhoff is your country's little, uh, your idol. Yeah. Well, Everybody knows Hasselhoff. This, this, Hasselhoff that's almost yeah. a German name, I think. It's got to be. It's Hasselhoff is pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hasselhoff. <laughs> Hoff. Hoff. Hoff, yeah. 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 <laughs> Who is the biggest, like, um, I guess biggest person to come out of germany like n- internationally besides him besides like kind of kind of kind of beside yourself well we know we know the most famous one but <laughs> <laughs> besides dictator yeah um i'm not sure i'm thinking about arnold schwarzenegger but he's from austria yeah he's austria hmm Google it. I'm on it. What's the yeah. big yeah. What's the big sport? What's the big sport in, soccer. in Germany? Is it soccer? soccer? Oh my God! They oh, love it's only soccer. soccer. It's yeah. only soccer. They possessed by soccer. It's only. I remember soccer. when like German play, Germany play, whatever, man. Like even like local games, and then it's just like cars and everyone beeping and flags. Soccer's and just, the biggest just, of yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just like hool- hooligans everywhere. Yeah. And all <laughs> that, man. It's crazy. Yeah. We had one German in the NBA, Dirk Nowitzki. Okay. Yeah, Dallas Mavericks. Um, Albert Einstein. Albert He's Einstein, German. Oh, yeah. German? Yeah. Oh, wow. Kristen Dunst. Oh. Karl Marx. Karl yeah, Mark? Karl oh, Marx oh, City, Karl for Marx. example. Yeah. A lot of... Uh, A lot of guys... Uh, Producer Nick is over there Googling. It's reminding us of all these cool Germans. A lot of uh, Martin Luther, a lot of religious people back in the 16th mm. century. Martin, Martin Luther. Luther. Martin Luther King. <laughs> no, not the, not the not the black guy. The, <laughs> the white guy from Germany. <laughs> wow, I never knew he was from Germany. That's fascinating. No. <laughs> German <laughs> sent him in. picked up that southern accent so good when he moved <laughs> here. <laughs> German <laughs> sent him in, man. <laughs> <laughs> was spy. 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 <laughs> Hitler sent him. Yeah. <laughs> That's fascinating. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> wow. Yo, that 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 period of history just fascinates me, man. Like every time it's it's been br- it's East brought Germany, up. West Germany. Not just Germany, the Russia, Italy, like World War Two era. It's crazy, man. That people lived through something that like sixty some million people, man, like perished, perished, like over like the wall. A very short period of time. And what's crazy is that that, that 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 Joseph Stalin, Hitler, Mussolini, mm. like where these guys came from, like but, they just wanted like. Yeah. But America, hope, America won that war too because Reagan said take <laughs> down that wall and then the wall came. That was after. That was after World War Two. We talking about. 
You're like, Ronald oh. Reagan did it, man. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember Khrushchev was standing uh, with the with the shoe and the, like whatever yeah, one of the yeah, parliament the shoe. kids with the shoe yeah. the wall that thing. So I'll show you, I'll show you how it's done or something. Yeah. It was funny. There's a lot of cool history that happened in, in Germany, yeah. and so yeah, you you, you are you, as a, as a German citizen, I guess you're you're embarrassed about it with the whole Hitler the yeah, whole but Hitler they, thing but at the same time now. it's part of your it's part of your history yes for sure you know and, and it's, it's impossible to ignore it it's it's a fascinating I mean the guy was uh, well we embarrassed too but like like you know you start talking about like what Russia went through during that period too it's pretty embarrassing man like to think that you know somebody like that was in power like with Joseph Stalin and stuff like that mm. just killing people yeah like my it was just so so miserable like I remember my 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 grandmother, uh, she was like seven years old, whatever, telling me stories from those eras. You know, like there was a neighbor. She had a neighbor, right? And and uh, uh, um, she had like a newspaper on the wall, on, on the table with with a picture of Joseph Stalin on it, right? Wow. And she put like uh, a glass with tea or water or milk or whatever, and it spilled down the picture, right? And then her neighbor was there or something, you know, was doing oh. some kind of shit, and they saw it. She and uh, that was how the culture was. And when they told the authorities she was gone and never to be seen again, bro. holy crap! It's like there's stories Cause, like that. Because she defaced the stuff. Yeah, because she <laughs> spilled yeah. milk on on on, on uh, Stalin because she oh. didn't preserve his whatever mm. integrity. Holy crap. She destroyed. That's just how the that, that was the time. Yeah. Just holy damn. And he was and he was nothing compared to uh, Genghis Khan. Oh, Genghis Khan is. I found some more <laughs> <We have pictures. laughs> our, buddy, our buddy Genghis up here. <laughs> you know who Genghis Khan is. Yeah, right? He ruled, ru yeah. uh, ruled, ruled Russia for. So you know we have Mongolian fighters yeah. over here. You know, so they come in. And Russia was under Genghis, Genghis Khan for yeah. two hundred years, and they come in and they're all nice people. Yeah. You know, they're, all like they're awesome people. All great people, but this. I don't speak much, much English, and they bring that present and give it to me. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, we put it on the wall and say, thank you, man. Like, yeah, we, bow down. We, <laughs> we get swords, we get uh, candy uh, from China, we get uh, we get all kinds of random gifts. Yeah, exactly. You need we to bring us German beer next yeah. time. Yeah. Next, yeah. next time you bring, yeah, bring us some and Germany. Kinder Kinder, oh, oh, kinder chocolate. Kinder yeah, chocolate. the German chocolate. Love, yeah. love that. German yeah. chocolate cake. They even got a cake named after the Germans. Which one? German chocolate cake. That's oh. a staple here in the States. I think, it's, it? I think it was invented in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, the German bread. Yeah, I read that about the German oh, bread. That's like your that's yeah. like your uh, How about your crutch. how about Oktoberfest? Oh, yeah. That's that's a yeah. popular time. <laughs> they have Oktoberfest everywhere, but yeah. I can only imagine in Germany. That's gotta be Yeah, but it came from Germany, you know, so it's actually pretty 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 impressive that it took yeah. on the life of its own. It's like yeah. national, I mean it's holidays all around. What's the world. what's Everyone the significance it. of it? What, what what's it all about? October first. Yeah. Peace says drunk and beer. <laughs> just just a party. You sit there. It's not, you it's drink not to honor the big anybody. beer. The Glass mass. Like it's called mass. The boot. It's one liter. One liter or I don't know. I think. Wait, it's half a gallon. Hey, thirty on. Don't even two. bother. <laughs> <laughs> don't even bother. Okay. <laughs> they don't we teach. We know what the liter is. They don't teach Americans. It's like a quarter so. of a gallon. Yeah. Oh, I know it's half listeners. gallon. Gallon. Uh, we don't yeah. do this. Uh, th we're very selfish about the, yeah, the measurements. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the most weirdest thing ever. Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah. It's it's only Fahrenheit. I don't like know this. Why you got it? Why you got to be so different? Don't yeah. tell me this. Don't, don't tell me about kilograms. Uh, only pounds. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're Always when right. someone asks, how, how, how much, much does you your weight? Uh, yeah, in kilograms. Yeah. No, 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 in pounds. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Twenty <laughs> years I've been here. Whatever, longer. I still don't know. Uh, I really don't know. Yeah. The, the pounds just like they the, oh, the, the, all these measurements yeah. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> conversions. Yeah, there's it doesn't, conversions doesn't, it doesn't work in my mind like that yeah mm. yeah october october fest is popular for the beer for the food they say big german pretzels, sausage. sausages the bread. cheese sauerkraut oh i love sauerkraut. the outfits yeah the outfits outfits yeah, yeah. yeah. german outfits, yeah. Yeah. See, I, see, I, you i eat all this stuff here in america and it's you guys making me hungry actually it's not the same yeah. you, i gotta go to germany just to eat the real stuff yeah. you know you get this americanized version of sausage and crap it's not the same have you have you been to orlando the world, 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 world um you know world disney 
World is now. No, they have like a separate section there, like where you like going from. S- you've been there. You've been to Orlando, like to uh, World Disney. Oh, the, the yeah, yeah. yeah the they have like different cities, and mm-hmm. one of them is German. You oh, know, so okay. you go and you Epcot, got the Epcot, Epcot Center. Yeah. Epcot Center. Yeah. So if you ever get a chance, beautiful over there. So yeah. it's like one, like you're like walking in, like here you're in China, here in Japan, here you're like in Germany. Nice. Here you're and, yeah. then, and then it's built around the cultures of these people cool. and how they... That's good. pretty accurate too. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Very accurate. Cool, yeah. So you got the restaurants like Beer Fest, whatever, that, yeah. you know, and then performances yeah. by Germans and okay, stuff. Okay, nice. Cool. In Kansas, I have a uh, sponsor. Uh, it's a German beer brewery. Nice. And they also sell uh, German food. So, of course, yeah. they found you. <laughs> <laughs> we got to sponsor this girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, She's legit. I will try the German food there after the fight. So, in all fairness, you are pretty much kind of a pioneer of German MMA at this point, right? Even though you're so young in your career. career especially in the you, females, yeah. Especially in the female sense of it, right? Yeah. It's pretty interesting. What other German thing. female has, has there been? I, think so. I mean, you would know. Well, well who, who probably who? I'm telling probably Sarah Kaufman, but she's born probably. But yeah, we have uh, um, Sheila Gaff, for example. Who? Sh- Sheila Gaff is her name. Sheila Graff. Gaff. Gaff. Yeah, yeah, she uh, had three fights in the UFC. She oh. fought Sarah McMahon, oh. Amanda, and. I'm not sure one more girl, but she lost everything. Lansberg, Lansberg is. Uh, she's Swedish, from Sweden. Sweden, yeah, Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Sometimes I get confused between like Scandinavian countries. Well, mm-hmm. this this is awesome because uh, yeah, you believe me, we we watch we watch all these fights. And it's it's very nerve wracking for us. We I we, stopped watching. We, we call each <laughs> other. Are you watching? But I can't. It's, it's, we, we we get so attached to you guys. We mm. love you guys. And to watch you win or lose is so nerve wracking. So it's 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 better just to watch the Twitter uh, <laughs> the Twitter feed. Yeah, just watch yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But during yeah. the fight, it's like yeah, you, you, yeah. You hurt. You hurt when you get kicked. You know. You, you it, it, it's, it's 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 tough. Yeah, yeah. true. Because we do. We take it personal. You're your family. So yeah. But we yeah. will. Uh, we will definitely we'll be uh, tuning in. Tuning in for your fight. Uh, sure alistair uh, alistair will be here we'll we'll make a little date of it and we should get together go, go to twin twice. peaks or something and watch it yeah it'd be fun so just know just know in the back of your head we're all sending over here in albuquerque sending our good juju yeah. towards you. <laughs> yeah even though people no you know people say there's a lot of people that's international camps and people come and go but it doesn't matter you know still we, we are family you know so people come in we accept them you know and that's their choice mm-hmm. we do the best we can to help everyone we can and at that point you know after it's all done this and that win or lose that's already on you know bring some more german women start yeah to start uh, recruiting yeah it would be good i have one girl she's a good friend of mine she has now three fights pro fights there you go get her a sponsor um, send her over here yeah she's fighting in flyweight we do have a lot of girls, right? Yeah. 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 It would be good for her. Yeah. It would be Kate, really good Kate for Jackson her. from England came a couple yeah, of days ago. Yeah. She's fighting that Yankova girl, Russian girl yeah. on Bellator. It's a pretty big fight. I don't know. She had a good, got good amount of experience, like nine and three. Mm-hmm. So that's a lot of fights. That's a lot of fights. She also fight Joanna. I she did? Fu- yeah, yeah. She did fight Joanna. Really? Yeah, yeah. Cage Warriors. Oh, a long time. Four y- or five wow, years ago. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. experience right there. Yeah. So what's your weight? What's your weight class? 135. Okay. That's the the ban the bantam. Yeah. And Invicta still is Bantam and Invicta too. Is that okay? And Victor has all divisions. Yeah, but they have like they one have or five, right? They have yeah, one yeah. or five. Yeah. So atom, atom weight, atom, atom weight. Yeah. Atom weight. That's yeah. the one thing they have over UFC as yeah, the atom weight. Yeah. That's why Michelle when she fights, she's so tiny, man. To some of these girls. Well, she yeah. saw it. She fought at atom weight. Yeah, in Invicta. Yeah, exactly. Yes. The girl she fought now is so big. Mm-hmm. You saw that fight? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Christ. She's my size. Who? Michelle? The last opponent from oh, Michelle. Was she? She's my size, yeah. yeah. My height. Yeah. Look, look bigger. <laughs> they look bigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Well, I haven't seen you like uh, with Michelle next to each other. But. Of course, you guys are always wearing your high heels for the face-offs and stuff, so it's, <laughs> it's hard to uh-huh. gauge, you know. Yeah, but there are a lot of girls who cut so much weight. For, um, I met Joanna, for example, in 2006 and she's my size well she, she came here she, she, she yeah, trained she here for like yeah. a week she's a couple big. days or something she's like big that. for a straw weight she's mm-hmm. really big her and rose were here within a week of each other it was funny because we yeah, had yeah, we yeah. had both of them kind of just scoping out camp yeah. i always say like if you look at the roster of ufc roster it's probably like 
60 70 percent of people that have walked through it here somewhat some point, sometime yeah. here and there yeah. or like walk through this gym even the commentators at this yeah. point yeah this <laughs> is cool nice it's just, yeah you just part with holly yeah How did you, good it was good good, good experience it, was it intimidating? The f- in the f- on the first, it was my first training day, and the altitude is so crazy yeah. here. <laughs> so you're and the then curve. she asked me if I could uh, do one round with her, um, and I was like, "You're not gonna uh, say no." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, so when she asked me, I don't say no, and yeah, it's it's funny because um, to hit someone you know <laughs> and you know and she you wants to tell and yeah. you have so much respect and I hit her and I was like oh my gosh oh, sorry. I totally <laughs> 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 no, she, like, she appreciated yeah. it I'm yeah. sure yeah. it happens to a lot of people that they come in they didn't real, they don't realize like holy shit you know this mm. is a I've been watching these guys and I grew mm. up learning yeah. them and this and that and there's so many legends that, and when you are next to them and you spar on them and it is kind of shuts uh, shuts you down a little bit because it's just like you don't know how to react or not to react yeah, yeah. and then you know well, it, it is a weird feeling but we did a few rounds yeah. the last week about yana good. yana you spar with yana yeah, yeah 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 Yana's but she's good. really big she's big yeah. she's big well, is big too yeah. but uh you know it's cool because yana vacated the bell went to you yeah, yeah. and now we have a chance to pick it pick it up again yeah. through you you know because sarah fought for vacant bell right yeah. so now that would be pretty historical if we're like back yeah. to back. Michelle, we Michelle had it. We had uh, Jody. Jody had it. Or no, Jody was about to have no, it. Yeah, she, she, that's, she got recruited right away. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So no, that would yeah. be pretty, pretty historical. I will be the third one. Yeah. Did you get to spar with Jody at all? Yeah. 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 Strong? Yeah. Good yeah. boxing. Good, good boxing, yeah. Like yeah. forward. She's yeah. definitely a striker. Yeah. yeah. Her, sweet, and, her, sweet. And, her and Keith come around. And it's, it's just, seeing Keith is a <laughs> yeah. fascinating thing. It's funny because I started watching Breaking Bad yeah. mm. when I arrived here. <laughs> of course. And I saw him in uh, yeah. one episode. Yeah. And I was like, ah, I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you don't know him as a fighter. I know you. Hey, you're more famous for Breaking yeah. Bad. Did you go to any of the spots here in, in Albuquerque? Did you do the tour? Did you see no, it? No, oh, okay. no, no. Next time you come, we'll take you. Yeah, we got to do the house. Oh, nice. The, yeah. Yeah. The there's, there's one of yeah, the, the, the dog house and uh, the, uh, a couple of the houses. Uh, the car what, wash. Yeah, the car wash, car wash uh, yeah. Walter White's house. Now Walter's White house is now how it's a. Uh, they put a big chain link fence or okay. a, like a wrought iron gate in front of it. What people, would, what people yeah. would do? Remember that pizza situation when they mm-hmm. threw pizza on the, on the mm-hmm. roof? You so, see that scene? You remember so, that one when he gets he gets home and throws the pizza on the yeah, roof? Yeah. And he gets mad. So, but there's people live in the house. Someone that owns that house. So, and what happened? Because the house became so famous, all the tourists that come in, they'll throw pizza. <laughs> <on> the <house. laughs> they they'd make a video of themselves <laughs> trying to recreate you know, the. You know, there's people live there, so they crazy. got so fed <laughs> up, you know, that they put a fence <laughs> on it. There's some older lady. The lady the lives there. She's mean too man she she, <laughs> puts, she puts up cones right in front of her house okay and she and she, she opens her garage because she, she doesn't want anyone riding yeah. on her garage but she sits on, on lawn chairs in her garage in her open garage the and, watches, and she, uh, she, she, she i wouldn't doubt it but she <laughs> she literally just sits out there and watches every single car that goes by oh. Meet mad dogs, you. It's it's funny. It's funny it's free pizza. We would, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just put a ladder up there. <laughs> you never have to buy free yeah. lunch. I would leave it open. Yeah. Like, hey, like, just throw it with a with a box. Yeah. Yeah. But now she put the cage. It's like she's an exhibit at the zoo or something. This is like she the, don't feed the animals. They need to put her. <laughs> No, the poor lady. I mean, I, I can only imagine living in a house like that where co- yeah. people constantly just go by yeah, doing crazy yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, I had to took... deliver flowers to that place. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Seriously. Well, that's cool. And then I, like, called, so, and people were like, he's actually walking on the property. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, every, every, everyone's doors open, and they're watching what's going to happen yeah. to Nick. Yeah. I yeah, die. she's a mean lady. She don't. Mm-hmm. We went with. Uh, we took BJ Penn and his brother and, and, and a couple. Of, I think Cabbage was here. We took them all over there and uh, uh, we got out and took pictures. And she yells right away, "Don't get too close, <laughs> like, lady." Okay, whatever. <laughs> don't stay on that side of the street. <laughs> Have you been up the mountains? Yes. Yeah, yeah. like up, st- up, top, up top. Um, like Yana the, took me to one place uh, for the Hill of Tears just to run. No, no, or oh, actually, to the actual the top. Full, no, yeah, we will just for a little bit walking all the hills, just the little hills, and yeah, yeah. the trails. Yeah, next yeah. time you come, you gotta go to like, yeah, top, top. oh, you've never been to the top. No, oh, yeah, that's oh. a big thing. Yeah, no. that's huge. I went to the hot springs one oh, day. Oh, that's awesome, too. Yeah, that was cool. The Hamus, or which which one in Santa Fe? I sure know. Um. They it was one you. hour from here. Yeah, from Santa Fe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's all. 
How was that? It was nice. It was really nice. Was this the mud ones or the the, the hot spring? The mud? hot spring. The, okay. Yeah. Cool. And I've been to the zoo. Zoo? Oh, yeah, that's right. At yeah. the botanic garden. Yeah, the botanic <laughs> garden. yeah, it's just down the street. Yeah. There's not much to do, but there's things to do. Yeah, you we're know, definitely. Yeah, you, sure. you, you got you got to go on tramway. Have you been on tramway? Mm. No, I didn't go. Next time you come. Mm. Tramway. It's, it's like 15 minute, 20 minute ride, yeah, right? Okay. And the trolley. It just takes it. Ah, yeah. Yeah. It's the longest yeah. tram in the world. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of scary. It goes from the bottom of the mountain. Well, I don't know if it's still the longest in the world, but for the yeah. for many, many years, it was the longest in the world. So it goes from from 5,000, probably 6,000 elevation to 10,000 elevation, just straight up. <laughs> it's the craziest Crazy. thing. So on, on your little, little like kind of like a gondola for uh, skiing you know mm. you just a bunch of people getting it go up to the top and the views are incredible a lot of the fighters go and train up in the mountains and like when i when when i took fighters there or whatever a long time ago like i found that that uh like even when they hit mitts everything seems like a slow motion yeah you know like seriously well you even, think even the sound and like the way the air is like ten thousand uh, yeah. yeah you thousand think it's hard to breathe at, here at, at, yeah. uh, this at, is like yeah. five thousand yeah we're, we're at mile yeah. high that's right like here ta- ten thousand crazy that's yeah. crazy so it's double yeah. 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 If, so it's it's if it's crazy. windy and it's cold it's yeah it gets miserable like, up there yeah. yeah he can he can attest to that with the yana yeah, the, I, went the there, UFC. I went there during winter time never yeah. again i said never again <laughs> almost died over there the embedded oh crew the, they took the embedded crew up there for uh, for yana's promo oh, okay. with cyborg and yeah she uh, it was like a miserable cold this was just two three months when was it back in february i guess yeah. Yeah. before her fight and it was uh yeah <laughs> everyone came back to say i'll never do that again mm. <laughs> that was miserable they got lost even because we walked <laughs> right on the side of the mountain so like this side of the mountain mm. we like walked right here and so all the wind that hits like this and then goes you know so it was so cold it's like i mean i couldn't feel my body period and i was dressed warm you know, and, and, and the guy with the camera, like the embedded guy, you know, yeah. his crew is like, holy shit, what I signed up for, man. He couldn't hold the camera for more it was than like like 10, <laughs> 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. 10,000 feet straight down. Sweet, sweet. So, what's going on else? Yeah. Mm. All in three days now. and uh, You get nervous before fights? I mean, everyone does, but just anxious or like you just want to get it over with? Or mm, it's okay. In? It's okay. I'm thinking about for sure in the night before I go to the Have you watched a lot of her fights? Yes. You watch I, a lot of fights? Yeah. yeah. I, I saw every fight. Yeah. Just trying to picture everything in and yeah, out, every yeah. exit, every entrance, every yes. everything, right? Yes. But Pick now it's only the weight cut, so yeah, I get I nervous on Friday morning. Yeah. Yeah. But you're on point already, so... Yeah, I have yeah. not much, no. The weigh-ins are the same. They do this at weigh-ins Friday. And, and, and no, no, no. The fights are Friday. Well, the fights are, so the weigh-ins are Thursday. Or yeah, how's that work? Yeah, yeah okay. Weigh-ins are um, pretty early. I think it's 10 a.m. Yeah. Are the weigh-ins. The official weigh-ins. Official weigh-ins at yeah. 5 Yeah, there's yeah. none of this uh, ceremonial weigh-in and then the official weigh-in. They just do it all at the same time, right? Or, or do they have... They have two weigh-ins, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it is like the UFC same where they... Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it's better. I think it's better yeah. to yeah. weigh-in in the morning yeah, and then... You have time to recover. You have time to recover, yeah. exactly. And then the fight... Um, it's uh, so The fights are on Friday and I think it starts at 6 or 7 p.m. Yeah. Have you always fought at that same weight, or you just went up and down type of stuff? You had um, fights. I had f- two fights in the featherweight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 145. Right? But on uh, one fight was weighing on same day, okay. so I don't well. cut on to 135 when the weighing is on same day. Your your you ho- you fought in Victor once, right? Yeah. And you knocked the girl out, right? Yeah, in the first. Yeah, round. that was like your first, first round. Yeah. yeah, that was your. F- Big, big one for yeah. debuting you and Victor like that. So yeah. that's uh, that's when they got notice of you right yeah. away. Huh? It's a way so to make a statement. Do you have uh, you have aspirations to go to the UFC? Or are you c- kind of happy? Everyone, with everyone that, does. I of think course. yeah. That's if you're a fighter and if you're a, a professional league, fighter, it's the big stage. Well, it's yeah. the goal from everyone. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Big leagues, man. Yeah, so some people, yeah, they 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 have this thing where they want to they want to keep that uh, they want to keep that title for. I mean. Uh, Good example is uh, uh, the, the King of the Cage guy. The, the one was it one? Uh, 
the guy he keeps right. he keeps passing up the UFC. He's, he's totally happy collecting those belts with King of the Cage. You know, yeah, so but he's going to be there eventually. He signed up with Bellator actually, so he was waiting yeah. for a good offer. Yeah. So, it's just so some people are just money because if King of the Cage pay him paying them so much more money because he's making you know a name for it and promotes the company and then UFC gives him an entry contract which is nothing. Yeah. He'd be like, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait till I build up more. So, so your first your first fight was a knockout in the first round. Now you got Sarah Kaufman. You beat her. Are you are you on a contract with with Invi how's that work with Invicta? Are you committed to so many fights with them? Or um, I have a contract for four, uh, five fights. Okay. Um, but everyone knows Invicta yeah, never say no. They never hold they you up. Yeah, it's cool. They work together. It's a feeding so, ground. Yeah. They're awesome. on fight pass. It's, yeah. it's a feeding ground, female feeding ground for yeah. UFC man. If you prove yourself, they got to pull you like with Diana. You yeah. know. Yeah. Although, like, it's kind of strange, right? Because uh, then that the belt or whatever holds, like, you know, because most likely you'll win the belt. They'll call you say, you know, we need you. We need you to <laughs> defend you, the you, belt. Yeah. No, no, they, they, you need to go to UFC. But okay, if, again, the belt is vacant. You're going to be, yeah. The poor belt's never just belt, belt, belt is a measure if you're ready for UFC or not. Yeah, so, yeah if you're in the belt, it, it doesn't... Yeah. Uh, but doesn't yeah, if you beat Sarah Kaufman, you're definitely UFC worthy. Your I mean, best, I would your say. Plus, a uh, record is 8-0, right? then you know, yeah that's that's it? that's like that's about the benchmark where they pick you up around that seven eight zero type thing mm. and you get a good one veteran victory if you win. yeah well let's uh let's talk f uh, sponsorship here a little yeah. bit because uh we do have uh we gotta take a break for a sec here and talk uh fire team fit they are uh they're a local company that uh, got huge selling uh online products with uh in the form of these cool little weight belts, lightweight, um, lightweight space age material stuff, and then uh, they got uh, instead of the old school chocks, it's kind of a liquid chalk mm. that's uh, that's very good for weightlifting stuff and strength and conditioning. Guys are starting to use it, so um, we uh, we've had a partnership with them for for a while now, and very proud to have them on board with us, and look forward to uh, a long time with those guys. But, and as a matter uh, of fact, they sponsor you yes yeah that's good yeah you know so that? you can attest no didn't what know that post pictures yeah. With, okay. <laughs> yeah. they sponsor her. social media guy not Love social that. media guy how do you like the sponsor cyborg cyborg killed me <laughs> <laughs> killed killed my killed my yeah. uh yeah, it's, pre it's pretty cool because um immediately after the fight i will start with weightlifting again yeah um, it's lightweight that's yeah. why i like it it's lightweight yeah, yeah. it's easy don't yeah. you notice it's on you where are you doing your strength and conditioning in Germany? Do you, so you're not doing it here? No, I only do intervals now, okay. running, uh, assault bike. The last weeks before a fight, I don't wait, uh, wait yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, lift well, weights. Well, weightlifting, well, well kind of strength yeah. and conditioning, yeah, weightlifting kind of two not, different yeah, things. Yeah, I'm not talking yeah. weightlifting, yeah. strength and conditioning. Yeah, because like, like weight, we have a weightlifting will, 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 yeah, I, I don't even do it myself, mm. like, anymore, because, like, I grapple a lot, and I think it bulks you up, it makes you very stiff, and mm. just... I don't know. I think your own body weight and like running and doing things like that is better. Like fast yeah. twitch muscle type thing, like, you know. Cool. Do you, do you like the belt? Yes. Mm. And I, had a l I have a lot of them, all colors. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> yeah, you got the rainbow. They hooked you up. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they had a bunch of extra the bantam weight sizes, apparently, yeah. She's got the pink one and the, and the, pink, and the blue, blue one. black, gray. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think Michelle got that many colors. Mm -hmm. You're, you're well, cool. You're cool like that. <laughs> Hopefully you, um, you know, you bring 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 that back to Germany because, like, to me personally, Germany is very close to me. So I'm a on. That's for sure. Well, yeah, definitely. We'll we'll uh, we'll get a picture of you with the belt, uh, and uh, we'll we'll be putting a plaster all over our social media. Believe me, um, we'll be bragging about you for a long time. We're gonna take credit for you <laughs> from here on out, because so, we want you to come back. Obviously, you know, we, we it's been a pleasure to have you here this camp. We, when they uh, when they mentioned that you were gonna come and. Uh, it was cool because it, it just shows that we attract some very cool people and great talent. And uh, there's nothing like this in Germany, right? 
nothing like this exists. Yeah. Like people don't realize what happens in this, this door. It's just this fight city, like in this building, just yeah. like just crazy. Like you go in like sparring days, like just who's of who from all around the world. Dorm yeah, room shenanigans. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really cool. You have everything here in the gym. Yeah. I mean, you have the therapy here. You have everything. Yeah. And well, when you get back, there's even gonna be a fast food restaurant down there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 For your junk food days, I guess. <laughs> You say you come early, so you don't have to come away. You can yeah, you can, you, can, you can actually eat some real Mexican food. Yeah, I want to try this food so yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah, but it's cool. So even when you're outside, I often go to the Albuquerque bars here. It's a small spa with sauna and hot okay. tub and uh, pool, and everyone knows. Yeah, that's Jackson the one that Andre used to. Be. We used yeah. to go with Andre yeah. all the time. Yeah, just down the street. Yeah. Oh. Everyone knows Checks and Wings, so oh, you're a fighter from Checks and Wings. Yep. So oh, actually, yeah. if you're international, they know why you're here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what else? Yeah, yeah, it's a cool little place down the street. Yeah. It's real close by. It's about a mile away. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for coming in on the show. We nice really check. appreciate you. Yeah, it's uh, when, when we when we heard you were here, I thought we thought that would be a cool cool little thing to have you on and, and we appreciate you coming by and spending some time with us and telling us giving us some history lessons he's very he's very good at uh, arguing with me yeah he, he well best skill, he's american best uh, best skill to you know like if people say good luck and stuff but then people say well no luck needed i hate that I think, I think i think i think i think there's no luck in the sport one man said luck is for the mediocre yeah yeah i hate <laughs> I, I hate tell, i hate telling fighters good luck i mean yeah. it's just so uh, it's just yeah. what do you tell like you don't believe in my skill yeah. Yeah. what do you tell it's a fighter what do you tell them yeah, what do you have tell fun them? yeah have fun have fun yeah okay, i like enjoy that, <laughs> have fun that's why i never always it's my theory behind now i have to say it like you know how people say like, oh he landed a lucky shot or he landed a lucky finish oh he got lucky in the fight yeah what well, do you know I yeah, said, exactly it's how how's that luck okay how's that luck if if i if, if i train to punch you in the fucking face and knock you the fuck out <laughs> that yeah. how's that luck <laughs> yeah, yeah. That skill. and if i landed it because i trained i trained to land i trained to beat you you know same thing with submission how can it be like a submission if i'm a grappler yeah. and i train yeah. to throw submissions or catching the darts and triangle things like that that's why when you read into it and people are like oh he got lucky you know well because he was an underdog and he beat let's say somebody yeah. like for example i'm sure you're probably an underdog in that fight right and you catch her you knock her out there's no luck in it you've been here for weeks to <laughs> finding ways to knock her out mm. so how is it going to be luck you spend know? a lot of time with <laughs> wink this that. is your trade yeah you know you train to do that yeah. that's why i don't i don't get it but yeah spending all those days with wink is uh is invaluable and, and yeah. you'll notice that like you it's going to be interesting not uh, not having them in the corner yelling yelling the codes at you, but uh, I know muscle memory is going to kick in. You're going to say yeah, and I tried it in yeah. every sparring round, yeah. and it works so good. It does. So. And even me, not being a striker, but I watch and I do take striking classes. Like I see when he teaches something, and you guys working on something, and if if I do pay attention and I stay there, mm. and watch you spar after, like, and and I see that you do what he told you to do, it works. Mm. like you see it works mm. like even slightest movement slightest things that people yeah. don't like a lot of people watch they don't understand the sport all they see is like okay they're just duking it out throwing punches whatever but they don't see the intricacies yeah. of these little things that that makes a difference of how you approach it how you're yeah. walking how you get out the angles you know the little stab yeah. that you take the little pivots and yeah. things like that the feints and all that type of stuff yeah. it's invaluable you yeah. learn that it's not yeah. like you know you just you oh, should just throw a punch no i should just didn't just throw a punch there was mm. intention behind there was skill behind it of how she threw the punch you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. makes sense right yeah so well on that note we're gonna let you go get uh refueled i know you're probably hungry after after training yeah. and, have your uh, fifth meal have your fifth <laughs> meal of the, day, the dr anita approved meal and uh we want to tell you uh for your fight uh have fun thank you best we, of skill uh, try best to make sure yeah. you best of skill. give <laughs> us give us some updates post uh post your post your uh pre post way meals yeah. uh yes. kansas city whatever you do just post it so we can share it and uh we can promote you as much as we can because we that the, you are ours and we're gonna, we're gonna promote you and take credit for uh share whatever we can you know on your journey so uh thanks uh thanks again for coming and uh visit us again you know we'll uh We'll see you hopefully here in, in a few months. Yeah. You know, a couple of months. I don't know. I will be back. All right. All Take right. care. We'll Good see thank you guys you. next time. Thanks thank for tuning you. in, guys. Bye. Through these doors walk the greatest fighters in the world.